today we're going to be fitting this Shad SH58X top box to a Kawasaki GTR 1400. Just to save time, I've already fitted the two back supports. It's very straightforward, so I won't bother boring you with the details. to remove the bottom support and we're going to need to remove these four screws This rear plate is now secured to the original rack of the motorcycle. It does come with an extra fitting kit, but it is screwed on via access points. This is the fitting kit, already partially secured to the bike. The instructions for the top box and the fitting kit are quite poor. You just get this one sheet of instructions. So looking at the instructions, diagram one is telling you to take the original screws out and you can put these to one side because you don't need them again. Don't throw them away in case you take the top box off and you'll need them for the future. There are then spacers underneath that which you will leave in place, the original spacers leave in place. Going down then to picture two, it will show four other spacers. That is number one on picture two. So you put these extra spacers in place. Then you put your plate on top and then secure it with the screws and washers supplied. There are two different length screws. I found the shorter ones on this GTR were better. Then secure all four screws with an Allen key. Then it's time to put your top box locking plate into place. There's one or two different places where you can bolt it down. One further forward, one a little bit further back. I went for the further back position to give the rear passenger a little bit more room. The kit does come with several different types of mounting screws, fittings, bolts, etc. I found these red inserts work better. Once you've got your red inserts in place and you've put your selected bolts through, like I said I found the short ones a little bit better, you then have the task of fitting the bolt and washer to the underside. This is quite difficult as you haven't got much space. I'm not sure why they just didn't use captive nuts welded to the back of the mounting plate. I'm not entirely sure why there is a mounting plate and you can't just bolt the top box plate to the original rack of the motorbike. There must be some reason for this.
fitting the rear bolts is quite tricky then fitting the front bolts is a little more difficult you might find using a long nose pliers will help Tighten up all bolts securely, then you'll need to replace the plastic cover that came with the top box base plate. Now you can fit your top box, push in your back section in first and then snap in the front end down securely into place. So this is the end result, not a difficult job, it's just the instructions are quite poor. Thank you for watching, if you like that hit the like button and press subscribe for more videos.